Hello, and welcome to Getting Started, 3D Experience Platform Basics for Sponsored Teams. Topic 3, Creating a Team Dashboard. Dashboards are our way of customizing the platform. It allows us to create the look and feel that we would like to use and customize how we want to see the apps we're using on a daily basis. Become a 3D Designer is one of the example dashboards that comes preloaded. As you can see, these are just web page readers on both tabs. But let's walk through making one for ourselves. So first thing I'm going to do is click on the dashboard list symbol, also known as the burger symbol. And I'm going to click on this plus symbol at the top and do add dashboard. In here, I'm going to create a team one dashboard. I'm going to keep it empty and just create. This is going to create a new one in our list called team one. Now, if I want to, let's say I know I'm going to use this one a lot, I can immediately drag it up into the favorites. That way it's at the top of the list because you could have as many dashboards as you'd like. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to close that and you'll see we have an empty page. We have a new tab at the top as well as a plus symbol to add more tabs. First thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rename this first tab and change it to design. I'm then going to go to the compass symbol and I'm going to look for the X design app and I'm going to look to make sure that it has this little arrow in the top right hand corner. If any app has this arrow, that means that we're allowed to actually bring it into a dashboard. I'm going to click and drag and drop that into my dashboard on that first tab. And then I'm going to go back a level and I'm going to go look for one called 3D space. And I'm going to drag this in here as well. I'm going to close the compass. And as you can see, we can resize, move things around, but sometimes uh, you can clutter it up a little bit and you want it to be nice and simple. You can actually click the drop down next to the design or that tab and you can click fit. This will automatically fit everything perfectly to the screen. So no matter how big or small the screen is you're working on, it'll fit them in there. Let's create one more tab or it's actually, actually, you know what? Let's create two more tabs. This next tab, let's call this one project planning. This is a topic we'll get into next, but let's just, uh, let's add it in here while we're creating the dashboard. So for project planning, we're going to go in here and we're going to search for project. You'll see there's a few different options. We want project planning, drag that in. The second thing I'm going to search for is task. And there's another one called collaborative task. I'm then going to close the compass and I'm going to go also once again to fit. You'll see I have my project planning on the left and my collaborative tasks on the right. And finally, we're going to make one more tab and name this one communication. For this one, we're going to go to the compass again. We're going to then look for one called 3D swim and we're going to drag this in and we're just going to full screen this one. So it fits it perfectly. So any conversations that we have with other team members, or if you decide to create a community just for your team to use, it'll all be right here. Now, if you have certain web pages that you use quite often or information that you want your team to know, it's very easy to create another tab and find the app called Web Page Reader. If we drag this one in here, and let's say you happen to use, you know, things like Google Docs a lot or other functions or other websites that for information, you can actually add those URLs directly in here and it'll actually view the web page directly. Now, if the web page does not allow you to embed it in another way in another web page, then it'll not be able to be read in here. But certain web pages allow it and you'll be able to add it right in. Now, once the dashboard has been created, you can then either use this dashboard for yourself or you can click this drop down at the top and you can go to share. You can share a copy with this dashboard with everybody in the team. As remember before, we created a group called team one. So we're able to find that and we can do share copy of this dashboard with the users. This will allow each user to get a copy of what you've created and they'll be able to customize it and change it however they want but it'll come in with all the features that you have already decided for them. So I can click share and that'll share it to all of those team members. 
Now, I had no members in my user group, so of course it didn't share with anybody. If you create a dashboard and let's say, you know, it's not exactly what you wanted and you want to start over, if you click on the dashboard list symbol and click on the, the gear symbol, you're actually able to go in, click the dashboard you don't like anymore, and you can go in here and click delete. Now this is why we share it as a copy. If you shared it and you added members to the dashboard, then if you delete it, it deletes for everyone. But if we share it as a copy, then everybody else gets to keep theirs and only mine was deleted. That is the basics for creating a dashboard. Thank you for watching and be sure to finish watching all of the Getting Started with 3D Experience Platform Basics for Sponsored Teams videos. Have a great day.